Assalamu alaikum class i hope you all are fine so uh, continuing with the mch lectures uh, we have uh, done uh, the antenatal care the intranatal care and the postnatal care which is given to the mother now we will proceed with the care of the child in the coming lectures now the childhood uh, period is divided into different age uh, groups or age periods number 1 is the infancy which is up to 1 year of age it is further divided into two uh, parts the early neonatal period which is the first 28 days of life and number 2 is your post neonatal period that is uh, 28 days to 1 year of age this uh, whole uh, period uh, early neonatal period and your post neonatal period is your infancy number 2 is your preschool age which is between 1 to 4 years of age then there is your school age which is between 5 to 14 years of age now we start with the early neonatal care the early neonatal period as i told you before it is the period uh, within the first 28 days of life now early neonatal uh, period is a very uh, crucial period in the life uh, of an infant and this is because the uh, baby has to adapt itself to the alien environment and the risk of death is uh, greatest during the first 24 to 48 hours after birth and the problems are uh, more acute in the rural areas where expert obstetric care is very less now the objectives of uh, early neonatal uh, care are number 1 establishment and maintenance of cardiovascular and respiratory functions of the baby number 2 to maintain the body temperature of the infant number 3 to prevent the baby from any sort of infection number 4 establishment of satisfactory feeding regime number 5 early detection and treatment of any sort of congenital and acquired disorder especially infections now when the baby is born the most uh, immediate measure is the uh, clearance of the airway passage now clearing of the airway passage is maintains the cardio uh, respiratory function now uh, the baby is uh, put in a, a prone position with the face down and the back of the baby is thumped so that the baby cries and the uh, all the secretions they come into the mouth and they are Uh, just uh, then sucked with the help of a, a plastic sucker or uh, after, or in some of the cases which uh, in which there can be prolonged labor or in some cases there can be hypoxia as well uh, during labor in these uh, conditions resuscitation is required and in resuscitation there can be uh, uh, suction as well there can be application of certain ox of uh, oxygen mask or there can be need of intubation or assisted uh, respiration as well so all the uh, gynae wards they should be uh, well equipped with the resuscitation equipment including oxygen as well now if the heart rate of the baby stops beating for more than 5 minutes the baby is then declared dead while clearing the airway passage in certain conditions resuscitation is required now a resuscitation resuscitation can be required in certain conditions like uh, uh, fetal distress can occur uh, which can be due to prolonged labor and uh, in certain cases they can be uh, discharge of thick meconium which can obstruct respiration or in certain deliveries uh, like if there is a breech presentation it can also um, lead to um, certain uh, fetal distress and resuscitation is required or there can be a delivery of a preterm baby now all these conditions uh, require resuscitation of newborn resuscitation measures uh, they include suction with the help of a sucker machine or they can be application of uh, oxygen mask and oxygen is given directly to the baby or in certain cases uh, the uh, intubation is also done and assisted respiration is also needed sometimes 
Next in immediate care of the uh, neonate uh, comes your APCAR score. APCAR score is so, uh, taken soon after birth and we cannot omit it as it tells us about the physical condition of the baby. Now in APCAR score certain uh, observations are made and they are made very carefully. Certain signs are observed which are the heart rate, respiration of the baby, muscle tone of the baby, what are the reflexes, what are the responses and the color of the infant. And then each sign is given a score of 0, 1 or 2. Now the perfect score is uh, 9 or 10. Now uh, as uh, you can see in this table, if the heart rate is absent, respiratory effort is not there, muscle tone is flaccid and reflex response is also not there and the baby is cyanosed or blue or pale in color. So the APCAR score will be almost 0 to 3. So that is a severely depressed uh, baby. Now if the heart rate is slow, that is below 100 and the respiratory effort is slow, uh, irregular, the muscle tone is there, there is some flexion of the extremities, the reflex response is uh, slight or grimace or, or the color of the infant uh, is pinkish and but the extremities are cyanosed. So uh, the total score will be uh, around about 4 to 6. So that is a, a mild uh, to moderate depressive uh, child. Now next, uh, if the heart rate is above 100, the respiratory effort is good and the baby is crying, the muscle tone is uh, good and the baby is active and the color of the skin is completely pink. Now that is a perfectly um, healthy baby and the, uh, there is no depression and the score is between 7 to 10. So all the uh, babies who uh, score below 5, they need prompt action. And infants with a low APGAR score at 5 minutes of age are subjected to a high risk of complications and death can occur during the early or the late uh, or the post-neonatal period. Now, uh, in the immediate care of uh, neonate, another important point is the uh, clean cutting of the umbilical cord. Now, the umbilical cord uh, should be cut and tied when it has stopped pulsating. Uh, this is important that uh, if you cut the cord after the pulsation stops, uh, the baby drives extra 10, 10 ml of uh, blood which helps in prevention of anemia. Now, cutting of cord is very uh, important as uh, three C's are uh, uh, kept in mind while cutting the cord and this is asked in your viva, uh, viva as well. Now, three C's tells us about that you uh, cut the cord with clean hands, on clean surface and with the clean instruments. Now, these are the three C's, three, clean hands clean surface and clean instrument. Now when the cord is cut, uh, the stump is uh, put on the cord and you should only use a spirit swab to clean that surface and the cord should be out of the uh, pamper as well. Now after 5 to 8 days, the cord it dries and it shrivels off and you uh, should not be uh, pulling at the cord, it will just uh, get necrosed and it will fall away. So nothing else except you put a spirit swab on it. Now in the rural areas, they put uh, sometimes cow dung or sometimes uh, put um, uh, some mud on the stump, uh, which can lead to neonatal tetanus. So this is very important. Uh, to keep in mind while cutting the cord, th uh, uh, three C's, uh, clean hands, clean surface and proper cleaned and sterilized instruments uh, should be used uh, while cutting the cord. Next important point in immediate care of the neonate is the maintain maintenance of uh, body temperature of the baby. Now when the baby is uh, born, uh, it is exposed to an alien environment and the temperature outside uh, 
द वूम ऑफ द मदर इज मोर देन टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड इन विंटर्स इट कैन बी इधर अप टू ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड द नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर ऑफ द बेबी थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव टू थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो सो द न्यू बॉर्न हैज अ वेरी लेस थर्मल कंट्रोल एंड कैन लूज हीट क्विकली स्पेशली सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द हीट इज लॉस्ट फ्रॉम द हेड ऑफ द बेबी बिकॉज आफ्टर बर्थ Uh, as the baby is wet because of the amniotic uh, fluid evaporation takes place so immediately the baby should be cleaned um, with a uh, cloth and wrapped in uh, warm clothes and um, or in a warm wrap and should be given to the mother or should have a skin to skin contact with the mother and breast feeding should be initiated uh, as uh, it can uh, uh, prevent uh, the Uh, baby from uh, getting exposed to external uh, environment now uh, in preterm or premature or the low birth weight babies um, it, uh, one should uh, uh, they are either put into the incubators as their subcutaneous fat is very less and they Uh, lose heat uh, very quickly so uh, one thing also uh, should be kept in mind that uh, when the baby is born it should not be put on a, a weighing scale or a metallic tray or a rubber sheet as they are co- cold and uh, the baby can uh, be uh, exposed uh, to more temperature and can lead to further complications now soon after birth as the baby is cleaned and properly wrapped in uh, warm clothes uh, the eyes should also be uh, cleaned now the eyes are cleaned with sterile uh, wet swabs uh, the lid margins of the newborns uh, should be cleaned uh, from inner uh, margin to the outer margin and after that a drop of freshly prepared a uh, silver nitrate solution uh, which is 1% is instilled uh, in both the eyes or if it's not um, uh, available a, a single application of 1% tetracycline uh, ointment uh, should be um, instilled in the uh, eyes of the baby now uh, any discharge from the eyes of the baby uh, is uh, properly uh, uh, taken care of now there is a condition which is called ophthalmia neonatorum it is it is caused by neisseria gonorrhoeae or trichomitis or staphylococcus and some other candida uh, species now the most serious causes of conjunctivitis in the newborn is the infection which is caused by the neisseria uh, gonococcus now it can lead to blindness uh, even so uh, these things uh, should be uh, properly checked and um, uh, should be uh, properly ta- uh, taken care of earlier now if the mother has a certain um, uh, genital tract infection Uh, before uh, the uh, delivery it should be uh, treated during the uh, antenatal uh, period or if uh, it uh, the mother still has that problem uh, during the delivery uh, the proper uh, uh, specific care should be taken uh, while conducting uh, delivery of the baby soon after birth uh, the baby is usually wet from amniotic fluid and can easily become cold so the baby is dried with the help of a clean cloth to remove any meconium or blood clots on it and it, this is usually done by the nurses nursing staff or the nurses now the baby is then wrapped in uh, dry and clean clothes um, uh, by the nurse to prevent uh, heat loss and the first uh, bath is given when the temperature stabilization occurs usually after one day now in immediate uh, neonatal care uh, the other important point is the initiation of breast feeding the breast feeding should be initiated within uh, an hour after birth 
and uh, although at that time uh, little milk is excreted uh, excreted but uh, that milk is uh, very important which is uh, known as colostrum and colostrum is uh, very rich in proteins and other nutrients which are required for the body and it is also uh, uh, rich in anti infective factors now these anti infective factors they protect the baby against uh, certain diarrheal diseases and respiratory infections now the breastfeeding should be uh, 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 should be initiated as i told you before within the hour of uh, given birth and it should be on demand of the baby now i am not going to go into the detail of uh, breastfeeding as you'll have a separate uh, lecture uh, in tutorials uh, about breastfeeding after care, care, taking care of the different uh, things uh, after birth it is important to conduct the first medical examination and it is preferably done in the delivery room now the examination is done to see if the baby has suffered certain injuries during the birth process or if there are any congenital malformations or any sort of uh, uh, problem which uh, needs urgent treatment and to assess the maturity and the second examination uh, should be made within 24 hours after uh, the birth or the delivery and it should be conducted by the pediatrician now the pediatrician it, uh, it takes the uh, body size the body weight is assessed crown heel length head and thoracic perimeters are assessed now the body temperature of the baby is taken and then the skin is observed the cardio uh, vascular system and the respiratory system and all the other uh, systems are assessed by the pediatrician in any sort of abnormality or malformation uh, that need uh, immediate uh, attention is taken now uh, sometimes uh, the newborns they get infected uh, during the delivery or they get infection from the mothers and some of the important infections are uh, number 1 is your neonatal tetanus now as i told you uh, when discussing the uh, cutting of the cord during uh, uh, after delivery that uh, three c's are uh, very important and uh, because of that we can prevent neonatal tetanus in the newborn but it can also be prevented uh, by vaccinating the pregnant females and uh, a zero vaccination of the newborn in case of at risk delivery another uh, important uh, infection is the congenital syphilis now the syphilis can be transmitted uh, from the mother to the uh, baby and in this case benzathine penicillin uh, is recommended in the dose 2.4 to 4.8 million units now next important infection is the newborn which gets infected with hepatitis uh, uh, b uh, positive uh, mother now this is uh, very important as hepatitis b uh, virus is very uh, common in our country now if the mother is uh, hepatitis b surface antigen positive only then there are 20% chances that the baby will Uh, get this infection or if the mother is hepatitis b e antigen positive then there are 90% chances that the baby will get the infection now the transmission can occur through the blood and the genital secretions and therefore it affects the uh, newborn uh, during the immediate perinatal period and throughout uh, the infant uh, infancy now it is not a contraindication of breastfeeding now to prevent uh, the perinatal transmission uh, an intramuscular injection of 0.5 ml of hepatitis b immunoglobulin is given along with hepatitis b vaccination within uh, 24 hours of the birth and after that the uh, vaccine is again repeated according to our epi schedule at uh, the 6th 10th and 14th week of age another important infection is the newborn uh, with a, a hepatitis uh, sorry aids 
पॉजिटिव मदर और एच आई वी पॉजिटिव मदर नाउ थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द बेबीज बॉन्ड टू एच आई वी पॉजिटिव मदर्स दे गेट इन्फेक्टेड एंड ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ इन्फेक्शन इट मोस्टली अकर्स एट द एंड ऑफ द प्रेगनेंसी एंड इट इज नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द टाइप ऑफ डिलीवरी so these are the common infections and i am not going to go into detail as uh, you have studied uh, these uh, prevention uh, with the uh, respective uh, topics in the communicable diseases